Is that area going to be filled with tens of thousands of fans tomorrow? What should they be ready for? Oh, Deshara, it is going to be exciting. You know, the Rangers may have won the World Series in Arizona, but last night and carrying into this morning, still a lot of ex excitement around their home park. We've seen a lot of fans coming to get their World Series merchandise at the Grand Slam team store. I got mine at Academy overnight. They stayed open into the night. People wanted to get their hands on that merchandise first. And now we even see the stage is going up here in front of Globe Life Field. That is where the team will talk to the fans once the parade is done. And just announced Arlington ISD has decided they're going to cancel classes tomorrow because they want their students and staff to be able to take part in the celebration. Now take a look at the map of the parade route. If you're not an Arlington ISD student, hopefully you have a good excuse to take part. It's going to circle the stadium complex here in Arlington, starting on Cowboys Way, just to the south of Globe Life Field. It will then turn north on AT&T Way, then right on Nolan Ryan Expressway, come back south on Ballpark Way, and end right near where it started on Cowboys Way. I mentioned the stage. It's going to be a viewing area here in the North Plaza parking lot where the team will take that stage. I'm sure they'll have that newly acquired commissioner's trophy that they're going to be waving around and getting the crowd fired up. Now, I did talk to Mayor Jim Ross about what people need to know if they do plan on attending tomorrow. Uh, yes, the celebration is going to be right here in the plaza and, and parking lot B. Uh, you could expect hundreds of thousands of people coming out here, having a great time and celebrating this 51 years in the making. They've had a lot of time to plan this parade. Arlington finally getting their moment to celebrate their Rangers. But you heard what the mayor said. If you do plan on coming out tomorrow, make sure you get here early. They will have extra police on hand to shut down the roads. And for that, I'm going to send it in to Stacia Wilson, who gives us a little preview of what the traffic might look like tomorrow. Yes, uh, as you said, Chris, the earlier you get there, the better. It is going to be packed in that area. And uh, you just want to plan ahead, just kind of like we say with everything when there's a big event coming up. Let me go ahead and go back to that area that uh, Chris was just talking about. Let me see my map wants to zoom in. It kind of got stuck there just for a second. So it's not a huge portion of, uh, basically, you're not going to be covering some huge portion of land, but it is going to be extremely confined and busy on the streets that are being affected by the parade. So uh, a couple just useful resources. You have Collins Street. That's just south of I-30. I-30 will be a little bit busier tomorrow. And then you also have uh, Texas 180 or East Division Street that runs. So basically you have an interstate above and a highway below the parade route. So those are going to be very useful tools. And then if you want to go ahead and cut across to the parade, you could take Collins to East Stanford Street. That's that street right here and cut up 18 T way to the start of the parade. Uh, and really, if you just want to avoid the area, of course, you could just if you're getting on 30 exit Six Flags Drive, let's thinking you're and you're thinking, oh, I don't want to go that way. You could just head the opposite direction on Randall Mill Road. So that would be uh, east back to 360. That is another very useful tool. So basically, it's kind of one of those things that you have this extremely, uh, again, congested area, but it's a small area and there are major roadways to get you around it, hopefully, or if you want to go to it. Real quick, before we leave, want to go ahead and show you I-38 Rose Hill because that's been closed all morning. In fact, it shut down last night due to a, a gas spill. So now that's back open. All right, Marielle, everybody wants to know with a big parade happening tomorrow, what is the forecast going to be like? You know, today, pretty chilly, but tomorrow, for the parade. I mean, just another appreciation for this picture, right? Uh, tomorrow for the parade, it's actually looking really nice and a bit more comfortable than today. Okay, so the parade 1215, we are looking at temperature near 64 degrees. It's going to be sunny winds out of the south at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. I'm going to step out so you can see it about 69 degrees at one 70 degrees around two. So if you're taking the littles, it may be just a a bit cool, maybe a light sweater, uh, but definitely plan on wearing your Rangers gear. Hats are going to be a good idea. Thanks to all that sunshine and uh, it's going to be warming up and again, pretty comfortable winds on the breezy side at times, gusting up to about 20 miles per hour. So not all too bad, Tashara. Yeah, not too bad at all, Mariel. And about 20,000.